Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. This we, we did bring up before and better be, yo. So this will uh, we can segue into our final topic. So P, uh, take it away with the, with the Twitter poll that we had on yeah, it. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Ring gang with the best polls out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hot polls for everyone. Pause. Pause. Um, <laughs> so we did a, a hypothetical scenario. You know, we're we're going into the uh, the Thanos first. Snap your fingers and you will get what you want. So if you could be Thanos and snap your finger, you pick one fight and it's guaranteed to happen. But the other fight never happens. Which fight you choose? In a way, Fulton or Bival better be it. So, gotta pick one. Can't get both. Um, in this hypothetical scenario, there were 91 votes, and 66% said they want Fulton in a way, and 34% said Bival better be it. Mm. Mm. Oh, we got closer. I was in a way faulting for sure, but both fights are great. Yeah, I actually I think I was Bavol better beef because I I, I I picked Bavol better beef. I I picked uh, Fulton in a way. You don't think it's been the fucking fight we're middle. getting? Like, geez. um, well, simply because like I for me, and this is me personally, I feel like um by the time Bavol and Better B have actually fight, um, who knows what Better B have we're getting. And yeah. the, the the light heavyweight division has almost kind of went the way of the Wal- the Walter weight division with me. So <laughs> whereas like with Fulton and Inouye, you're getting both guys in, in their, their prime at yeah. their best. So man, that's a weak excuse because no, better be has been the old motherfucker he's been for the last three years. Like nah, like we're in another assumption of fights this year. I, I just don't see it happening. I think, like, you know, Better Be's about to be 40. Nigga, this is a Thanos snap. What the this fuck? This is a Thanos snap. This is a Thanos snap. I so mean, we're looking hypothetically, it happens this year, meaning oh, gotcha, Better gotcha. Be Beast Mode okay, and be, okay. Beast the shit out of a uh, yard. Um, whatever. Uh, and Baval, he wins. He beats the shit out of whoever he has to fight, and they fight August or some shit. Yeah, this year because you could say Fulton in a way could you know fight twenty twenty four. You know what I'm saying? No, like, you never get Fulton in a way. Oh, you yeah, never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My my whole thing is this: Fulton and Inoue got a bunch of good young fighters around that weight. More people going to emerge. They'll always they'll both have good fights around that weight. Whereas Bivol and Better Beef, and it goes back to what we were just saying: like these niggas is getting faded up. So. After this is like maybe one of the last high profile matches at 175 until some new niggas breathe life into it, right? Because yeah. half the character select mode is grayed out, yeah. <laughs> so at least let me see how this series ends. If it's two, if, if the if it's two Russians, let it be that, and the division just rebuilds itself in the aftermath. But the the younger weights, the, those those lighter weights, in a way, Fulton. They, we're gonna. I already saw fucking in a way not get the damn um chocolatito fight, mm-hmm. and it's like I could live with that. Like, I I've gone through that. I could live with him not fighting Fulton, but it's still a great fight, and I'm glad we're actually getting it. And I'm glad that there's traction behind it, and, and more people want to see it because. I remember a couple years ago, niggas was like, you know, you don't deserve to be perfect by number one. I don't want to box and I'm an idiot. He <laughs> <laughs> was dumb. He was you dumb cocksuckers on that bullshit. So, uh, mm-hmm. so it's great to see y'all on this nigga dick right now after Ring Gang Ben knew what's up. Right, yeah. So, and, and with before Better Beef, too. Like, I mean, I want to say because, yeah, as LB, so yeah, as, as LB said, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's part of the last real marquee marquee uh fight in that division right now until some until more leveling up has to do like Boatsy or Callum Smith. Uh, so it's, it's even a division that even someone like Andre Durrells for somehow get, gets getting momentum. And, he, and, um, and he's he's from a different era of box and I hate saying that too because it's, it makes me feel old too. Because it's because <laughs> but, it, but it's legit it's a legit era. It's like it's not you know like everyone realizes that both of those guys are pound for pound. Like those are like top those are top ten. Like you know, so it's like that's why I want to see that more than anything. Like, like 
this because they both have different styles of fighting. It's like Pavol is a guy that's rarely hurt. Better be is a guy that you know it's rarely bothered oh, yeah. by anything. It's like yeah. you know, I, I want to see that shit more than was with, with, more than I do with Monster of Bolton. Well, you say he's rarely hurt but inside the ring. Outside the ring, he's always hurt. Yeah, exactly. It's just more because you because you just feel like the clock. I feel like the clock. I mean, the clock is ticking more for Better be because I think Bavol right now is in his prime prime. Like he's prime as you can get from him. You know, whereas Bavol, I think is whereas Bavol and us with be, Better be is at the tail end of his. Like he's like he's yeah. at the point because because right now we have he's, he's at his Golovkin Jacobs Kell Brook fight. Yeah, because like, like, because like, honestly, he hasn't deteriorated like that where it's noticeable. But th- th- those injuries will take hold eventually because he hasn't slowed down. But he's, you, you can tell that it's like it, it's coming. Like, there's just like the, the wrong fighter can probably expose. Dude, something. and it could be any fighter because it's a thing. Light heavyweight and the people he's fighting, they're all world class. They're all good. They're all dangerous. Like yard for whatever inaccuracies. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm fucking that word up. Apologies. <laughs> He got fucking in, inadequacies. Uh, inadequacies. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Inadequ- inadequacies. He still has power, athleticism, and talent, and you know he's determined. So that that alone, you know, is, is you know is something to deal with. And you're right. dealing with this all the time. So yeah, and getting those injuries outside the game. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, and that's why I want to see that more because it's like. I'd hate to. I'd hate that to be this generation's Stevenson and Kovalev, you know, fighters that should have fought, but because of he's looking that way though, right? Yeah, because all the other pieces are grayed out, and we finally got the two that we want, and it's like we're not gonna get it, and it's like that's two eras of the best light heavyweights not fight. fight, I said fighting, fight fighting each other. That's crazy, and, and and that would be a goddamn shame. Like it, like Stevenson Kovalev not funny was a goddamn shame because we were asking for it like it was like you know it was, such a shame yeah that's such a damn fucking travesty yeah but, you know so it's, 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 it's and I don't I don't want I don't want to see that happening because it's just like because if that part doesn't happen then light heavyweight will light, light heavyweight like it, it so light, light heavyweight will probably go in the way of cruiserweight right now it's just like in a, in a, a, a state of rebuilding you don't know where it's going to yeah. become what's going to bubble again it, that's why right, light heavyweight. That division, the sense once you get bodied, you're out. Every fight needs to be meaningful. Every fight needs to be significant. And right. so far, it's kind of been that way. Every fight is kind of built up to something. Right. Yeah, and that, that's why yeah, that's I just want to kind of keep it that way. Like in a way, Fulton. Yeah, that's a great fight. I'm glad we're getting it. But if I had to choose, if somebody was gonna gun to my head, like nah, it's better be Bivol. You know, like Andre. Like I'm sorry, like Android said. Uh, that's all Soviet matchup between Better Beef and Bivol is so damn intriguing, though. Yeah, because it is. Yeah, I mean they both speak English, you know. Better Beef, you know, they speak they speak multilingual or whatever. I mean, so it's not like you can't sell. I mean, you can't. It's not the excuse to say you can't sell them. Is I think is nonsense. Because especially with Bivol, like Bivol, is lazy he, promoting. Every fighter could be sold. Yeah, because Bavol, because Bavol was talking all types of shit after he beat Canelo, you know. So it's not and people like I didn't know he had so much personality. I'm like, well, y'all yeah. kept sucking Canelo dick, like y'all yeah, this and, 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 and I've talked to Bavol myself. Like Bavol had jokes for me, so as I know, it's like he, he, he's he's more he, he understands a lot more than what you think. <laughs> so you know, so exactly. yeah, the Soviet matchup where neither of them are actually Soviets. Gotta love that. <laughs> it's because one one is from Kyrgyzstan and the other one's from Canada. <laughs> well, the other one's Canada by way of you know, well, where is it? Where is it? I forgot the country. Yeah, from. from Russia. He's uh, he's Chechen. There we go. Mm-hmm. That's the word. Yes, oh, Chechen country too. Yeah. So but they all they, they just both Russians to us and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, but yeah, like Andre. Yes, yeah, perfect. Yeah, they're a perfect clash of stuff. So that's why I want to see that more. Than Fulton Monster, because like I said, I mean, I mean, I'll say, I, I mean, Fulton Monster is a great fight, but I mean, I, and I'll say when the fight is, yeah, I mean, I've seen fight. Japanese boxers fight black boxers, I've seen anime niggas, so I mean, <laughs> I, I ain't seen two Russians fight each other now. <laughs> yeah, I love because like, yo, get the fuck out of here, Shutter. Like, yeah, and then truthfully too, that might actually be why there's such a disparity be, um, between the score, because I mean, obviously, because Fulton is an American fighter, and then Fulton, and then. 
you have Monster who people think is a hype job. People who how people think Monster is a hype job is still beyond me, but you know, it's whatever. But it's just like, you know, I, I can see why for whereas two Russians, like one is just like, okay, you know, like well, I mean and, but at least people understand that Better Beef is not like an ordinary fight. Better Beef is you know, people can't people can't down people don't downplay Better Beef. You know, like you know, that, that that's one thing at least I can say you know, about him. Whereas Bavol is kind of like, you know, he gets a little downplay every now and then. But they don't downplay Better Beef because they see what he does. <laughs> well, because he's, he's fought black fighters before, of course. That's part of the reason why you don't get downplayed like that. Because you know, some pants are like, yeah, well, yeah, he did body Marcus Brown, or you know, that he did body um, what's his name? Uh, and it's like, and it's like his third fight or some shit like that. Tavares like, Cloud. Yeah, <laughs> Tavares Cloud. I and I used to, I, I and I, I used to like Tavares Cloud too. Like, I, I thought that dude would been, would have been something, you know. But hey, well, he did become a world champion. He did. But it was kind of uh, yeah he. Did. I know he, we, we wanted more. He kind of underachieved, but yeah, he. he, he, he basically, you know, there's he a lot of boxers out there. He'd never become a world champion. So if you if you do that, you know, what I mean, hey, you you kind of yeah, got there. <laughs> he, he sure did too. But yeah, but, but and he gave a great fights because he was like the first dude to really visibly hurt Glenn Johnson, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, he was. You know, so yeah, yeah. Tavares Cloud was a motherfucker. Just, it, 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 but as soon as he got to the belt, he he kind of fell. He fell off and he fell off quick. You know, yeah. So, but yeah, but yeah, better beef of all. It's like yeah, I, I want that more than the other one. Is just like I mean, either way, I mean, there's no there's no wrong answer. But it's just like nah, that definitely I, isn't. No I, I just feel I just feel like whereas Bavol and better beef define an error, and Fulton Monster does not. That's yeah. The, I think that's probably the best way I can sum that up. Because in a way, like, oh, yeah, that's crazy because his name is, um, in a way, like, I felt like Fulton <laughs> Figueroa was our Bivol better be already. That I can see that. <laughs> and it's like, even, it's like, even if you disagree with the score, you could at least saw they fought. Like, you know what I mean, like, and mm-hmm. so if these niggas get to do what they want after that, hey, like, that just show you how good the division is because them not even rematching and both going into good fights is like hey where it's better yeah, yeah. people ball like there ain't too many other good fights after that right right Alan Smith Canelo uh, whoever gets out of the grade grade uh grade yeah, lot. <laughs> yeah whoever, whoever puts the, the quarter into the arcade machine <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that be forever I mean yeah how many arcades you see nowadays? Right. <laughs> you'll be hiking to one of them shits. Hell yeah. You know. But yeah, that was a good poll. Good uh good poll, P. Yeah, absolutely. And good discussion too. Uh so I think we could probably wrap this up. Uh, I know it's the afternoon. Yeah. I know people want to get to their football games and the uh, in my case I need to get to start packing packing some more and eating. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish watching the uh, the Bills get stomped out because they're getting stomped out right now. So. Yes, sir. You know. So yeah. Final thoughts. Uh, LB, I'll let you start off with the final thoughts. Oh man, we gonna uh, make sure y'all definitely um, following us on the Twitter and the YouTube and all the uh, social media channels uh the tiktok all that shit because we're gonna be uploading dropping some more um animation and shit this week like you know probably today maybe today or or, or tomorrow because i know everybody about to get into some other shit on the weekend so i don't know might have to have a poll ask y'all i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but, but we'll, we'll see but um you know because like i said we you know we picking up on the content you know it's full steam ahead with this shit you know no one could do what we do, but we could do what everybody else do better. Yes. So just remember that, man. Ringgangradio.com forever, forever, ever, 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 cracker, collar, bone, you know how to, whatever Lil Fame and them <laughs> MOP niggas said on the Fab Remix. So yeah, man, just... Uh, just, just keep, just be alert. Uh, shout out to the rest of the squad worldwide who, who always holding it down. Prolific genius, aka Ring Gang TV, Clanarchy for them dope ass beats. RTGZ, 
I mean, RT DZ, damn. RT <laughs> I sound like DMX when you talk about Jeezy on the uh, 106 in part. Yeah. <laughs> Young Jeezy, she, who's that? <laughs> nah, uh, and uh, R, R, uh, DZ and um, PJ, the fight architect. So, in uh, Rome Top 5, yeah. Yes, sir. So yeah, that's it. Um, um, y'all, y'all got this. Oh, and sh- shout out Henny God. I seen him in there earlier, but I don't think I said salute or, or what up. So, but yeah, shout oh, out Henny, Henny, Henny God. Yeah, the, the hip hop discussion is coming, bro. Like, don't worry. Yo, about my it. nigga, you right. I'm sorry. Like, yo, it's it's we had to get all these other extra shits out the way, bro. Like, I, I got you. Like, we we got a real good one. Like, a real motherfucking good one. Yeah, no, we, trust me, we have one. We've been sitting on yeah. it for a minute. That that actually might come this week. Pause that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might actually arrive this week, actually. Where? So, um, maybe, um, maybe, a, maybe a Wednesday or Thursday. I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, well, probably because I'm, I'm traveling until Wednesday oh, night. Fuck, so. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Uh, damn. So it'll probably be a Thursday if you have anything. Yeah, yeah. So, um, y'all, I guess y'all, y'all put Thursday down. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the Thursday we we gonna hit y'all with the hip hop discussion. Yes, you know, and bless y'all with some some crazy, crazy shit, crazy topics. So start listening to your um late nineties uh, hip hop right now. Like, what? Like, make sure you listen to a little east, a little west, a little south, because you don't know where it's coming from. So make sure you start listening to all that shit. So you be really vibing with us when we get that the uh, hip hop discussion going on Thursday. Yes, sir. So yeah, uh, rest of y'all. My bad. Y'all, y'all got this. No doubt. Uh, Pilot, your final thoughts? Uh, not much more to say. Shouts out to Ring and everybody out there. Um, shouts out to the listeners. Shouts out to Android. Uh, you know, Henny God and everybody else in between. Um, man, hope everybody has a good week. That's all I got. Yes, sir. Positive. Positive Pilot. There you go, man. You know, hope everyone wishes everyone has a good week. You know, they, that's, that's always a good thing to wish. <laughs> AOP, what about you, bro? I was saying it's Ring Gang Radio all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Ring Gang Radio all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Hey. Uh, I hope everybody has, has had a good weekend, has a good week, except for Buffalo, because the bodega does not claim Buffalo. Fuck hey. Buffalo. Hey. Um, you know what I'm saying? Except for Rick James and Griselda. Griselda. Nah, I, Rick James and Griselda, they cool. But yeah. everybody oh, okay. else, nah. Nah, we don't we don't we don't do the bills, we don't do none of that. So what about the yeah. wing? Man, them niggas can't catch. I just saw this nigga just drop a ball, man. What the fuck is going on, nigga? Like hey, oh, hey, sorry, hey, sorry, hey. P. I'm just I'm not nah, disgusted nah. your voice, my bad. I'll yeah, be nah. I mean I mean I'm disgusted by Buffalo, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna spend this whole outro going in on Buffalo. So um you know what it is. You know where to find us at ringgangradio.com, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. Nigga, yeah. did I just see six receiving yards? The fuck? Okay. Buffalo's I'm sorry. Buffalo's no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you probably did. And I'm glad you did. But, okay. Damn, <laughs> yeah. Yo, my six. bad, bro. Nah, I- it's all good. It's all good. I Any any opportunity to shit on Buffalo, I'll allow it. Yeah, Buffalo- <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Buffalo's looking like you, Bank, right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. There we, there we go. So... There I'll end it on that. You know, enjoy the rest of y'all weekend, and hopefully it's not snowing where y'all are at. No, it's and snowing definitely where I'm fucking at, which I'm pissed about. I, 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 I mean, LB doesn't have to worry about any of these things. Neither does Pilot. This nigga, this nigga, the pilot lives in the desert, and this nigga, and um, it's in uh, LB lives in fucking Narnia or some shit like that. Which, which, yeah. Narnia. Like, <laughs> I mean, uh, Pilot doesn't. Pilot doesn't have to worry about snow. He just has to worry about droughts, and then he can go. He, he can go cat elbow a cactus like Cactus Jack to get nah, it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, this nigga can go cut over the cactus and hope it has water in it and shit. Like he used to do in the cartoons, nigga. <laughs> well, be kind of nice down here. It's been raining this winter, though. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little rainy. Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh no, you said winter. What was that? Oh, yeah, what a, he flexing now. Yeah, you guys are flexing. Just, just I, mean, I, I, I blame you for that, Pat, because you flex with your pork, and now he wants to flex with his damn no winters. I don't know what winters like. You know, <laughs> yeah, the lowest we get is forty five degrees. <laughs> hey, I mean that's cold enough. I mean, I bring out the little, you know, little the, 
a little thicker hoodie, you know, a little custom joint. I, I bring out a little Sixers jacket. I, 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 I bring out the ring gang merch. I mean, the ring gang hoodie. Yeah, meanwhile, me, hoodie. me, me, and then, you know, me and P have to worry about cold and polar vortexes or or snow up in the train stations like P. Yeah. And, but y'all niggas don't get hurricanes, so y'all good. That's also true. And y'all don't, that's, and, and that's nothing not true. happens. And, and not nothing true. happens like cause hysteria where y'all at like yeah. every year like how they do hurricanes and shit down here like people go crazy for this shit so yeah, yeah um I, I wouldn't say that we don't get hurricanes because new york some parts of new york city yeah, are still right. suffering from the effects of hurricane sandy which was 10 years ago yeah because jersey be getting hit yeah yeah okay yeah yeah all right, yeah got me on that <laughs> Although you would laugh because like Hurricane Sandy was like a category one. You hear category one for is like ha ha ha. That's nothing, you know. We, yeah, we category get- one. A nigga go outside. He, you know, he would play basketball during the category one, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, we was out here. You know, niggas just on the corner getting it in on the category one. It's like niggas don't take that serious unless it's like a category three down here. Yeah, that means you find a basement at a category three. <laughs> or it's a five, niggas is like praying and shit. And like, <laughs> uh, uh, but they do some damage. I, I'm not looking for no fucking hurricane this year. Jeez, man, I'm I'm ugh. Like, yeah, I tell you probably over there, and I just hope never have to do one. Period. Because the last time a hurricane ripped my area, you know, trees were down. I had power like for like three days. I almost had to throw away the fish in my freezer. Like she was terrible. Like nah. <laughs> See, my block got too much damn palm trees. Like, if them shits come down, it's like, like some type of Lord of the Rings end of the time fight. Like them tree niggas <laughs> calling. Like, I don't even want to see that shit. Nah, like nah. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, they, they, they already doing the damn um where I'm at. They're doing this um the Department of Defense and um joint like with the BSO training. Like these niggas be having. Flying silent hel- helicopters over my block and shit, nigga. Which is a I can only I can only imagine how unnerving that shit is. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I was grilling when they was doing that shit, nigga. We was chilling and it's like, you go, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and they flying these shits like not even that far over the, the 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 streets and shit. Like it's literally almost feel like it's just. Maybe five hundred feet in the air, type shit. And this shit, like you hear a like, it's yo, that's it's fucking like, It's just crazy, man. I don't know what niggas preparing for. Well, you know, probably be alert. Three. World is an op. Yeah, World War Three is probably on the horizon. I wouldn't doubt that shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, and, and dude, I'm talking about within three, four hours, they went back and forth like maybe five times. God damn! You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, hope, hope, not, hope, 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 hope they're not spraying with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dude, they look like military, like weaponized shit. They don't look like it's some. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I hope they're not spraying some shit. They're like, yeah, we'll make it look like it's it's not a spraying one, but it's something else. <laughs> yeah, have you on some Tuskegee shit, which would be awful. Like, yeah, yeah, and it's like, yeah, we'll just crack down and do this in the hoods. Large demographics of. Black and ethnic folks, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, I've seen, dude, dude. I've seen before, like with me and Rome, seeing them the silent helicopters where if we wouldn't have just been looking and chilling on the staircase. We would have never seen them shits. Yo, you mean, like, <laughs> silent helicopters, motherfuckers? Silent helic, like you, like that don't even sound right, nigga. Like, I mean, I, I guess I should, it makes me feel better about me. I live among the trees and shit, so it's like I don't have any, I don't have any real bullshit except for turkeys that be. Shitting in my mulch. That's pretty much about it. <laughs> yeah, I know I would get pissed at that. Cause, like, so yeah, I, I, I'll take the UFOs and military ops and shit down here instead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I want to deal with turkeys. I didn't fought different animals before, and I, I'm good with that shit. Like, Yo, for real. I'll fight the two legged niggas. Now you're trying to fight the four legged ones and shit. <laughs> Too old for that. Word, word. But, but damn, oh, y'all oh, some entertaining motherfuckers, though, man. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know what I got to say, you know, is like obviously, you know, we, you know, Ring Gang, we got some shit, we definitely got some shit more uh coming on the horizon. Uh, you know, and shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles for whooping on the Giants. It was a wonderful night. Um mm. and then yeah, you know, if you and obviously so I, I had to get I had to get a um A side boxing talk because he was talking that giant shit and I had to tell him that it, you know it's, it's Eagles, you know, the, the fuck mm. all that. But um but yeah, and you know, obviously 
Respectfully. No, well, no, it's a giant, so no, it's not respectfully. It's he said disrespectfully. <laughs> <laughs> we know, but yeah, no, obviously, we thank you guys to actually join us this afternoon. Usually, we do it on Mondays. You know, we try to do it, but you know, you know, niggas is traveling. You know, I got a trip. I got to go on. I got, I got to go out of state for a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but I got, you know, for legal reasons. But uh, yeah, no, but thank you for rocking with us in the afternoon. And we hope that you enjoy you enjoy the show and you guys enjoy your afternoon and evening. Um, so yeah, so for myself, Pat Scorpio, New England representer. For LB, Shadow with the God, the GOAT artist. For King P. Bodega, Pierre for Conscious Pilot. This has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk. Where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. Peace. Uh-uh.